on EA Star Wars channel. Uh, we're gonna go through it. We're gonna record it. We're gonna see what what it's about, how it plays like, what it looks like. I've seen a little bit of it and from the things that I've seen. It's kind of not what I was, I was uh, anticipating, but nonetheless, it looks pretty cool. We're gonna watch the whole thing and we're gonna react to it. We're gonna see how it goes. So let's just uh, let's just get into it, pretty much. All right, start journey. The Destiny logo here. Alpha game footage, huh? Okay, this is our main character with our BD1 droid. So I guess we got we got health here in the bottom left. Well, I don't know what that for is. I don't know if that's stim pack, uh, where where he heals himself. But we're gonna check it out. We're gonna see how this this goes. Like I saw this part, and the first thing that I didn't like personally was the uh, the walking or running animation. I thought it was kind of bad. This part is pretty sick, actually. The wall running, that's pretty cool. It's Chewbacca. Oh shit! Look at him. I knew he was in this actually. I saw some screens and some videos already, but that's pretty cool. Oh damn, dude! We have to stop them. That's the plan. We don't know they're in game. They spread themselves too thin. To be honest, in my personal opinion, the models, this game looks like it's being played on low settings for some reason. These refineries double as brutal prison camps. Use those cutters to create a distraction while you take your lightsaber and free the Wookiees inside. Yeah, this does. This looks like low settings. I don't know why. Looks really bad to be honest. You hear that? needs my help. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Free the Wookiees. Okay. The running animation looks like, uh, what, Quantum Break. Oh, nice. It's connect as a flashlight. That's pretty cool. Dude, that's freaking, that's freaking dope, dude. Imperial Refinery. Okay, so we're on Kashyyyk. That's... That's awesome, dude. We're back on Kashyyyk. Now, this part, this part for me was kind of, kind of whatever. Um, kind of, if you look at it, like the bolts and stuff, it's flying. It's so slow. Like these are going so slow. Uh, it's, I don't know. It just looks for me, in my opinion. Uh, I'm not trying to bash the game, but honestly, like, I hopefully they'll improve this because it does look pretty slow. I mean, look at this. Like, these are not blaster bolts. Like, what are those, dude? Everything looks so slow. So we got force push, force pull as abilities. How did he know? What the heck? This seems uh, this seems a little bit off, to be honest. See, he's just like he he points to it before it turns on, and he says it's turned on. He should have said it after, actually. They they should have came in and said it right now. Force pull again. Oh, he's dead. Oh shit! Oh, so they're insta kills. Oh, I guess that that is our force bar on the bottom there. Yeah, that is. Oh, just froze that dude. Okay, so this is our force bar down here. Uh, the blue one right right here. That's our force bar. 
replenishes over time. So we got push, pull, and then we got Kylo's freeze. Time freeze, dude? That looks so sick. Lightsaber throw. XP on the top right. This is played on a PlayStation, I guess. That's why it looks so bad. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. What the hell? Why are they running so slow, dude? Oh, he should be sliced in half, man. Oh, he should be sliced in half, too. They gotta make us... They gotta allow us to slice people in half, man. Oh, this is the Purge Troopers. A Jedi. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, so they got a little bit of a shield. The white one is like a shield. Oh, shit, dude. So this guy's gonna be a little bit difficult. Damn, dude, what the hell are these? The combat is like... Oh, sh oh shit. The combat is like... Uh, Dark Souls, kind of. Oh, it is. Okay, so those are stim packs. Those are health, health packs. That's pretty cool. There's those rat things. Flame beetles. They're coming through the wall. It's our death. Flame beetles. Did they say flame or flying beetles? Oh, that guy's dead. Oh, really, dude? Yeah, no shit. Got sliced up by lightsaber. Look at this. This is pretty cool. Oh, shit. One hit kills. So, ah, oh, this is played on PlayStation, dude. No wonder the shit looks bad, dude. I know I said it before, but still, it looks really bad. Oh. You sure you want to plug into this thing? Okay. I love how those guys up top don't even notice us at all, dude. They're just staring at us. Oh, that's cool. Uh-oh. Oh, what the hell is that? What the hell are those? Those are like giant bugs, man. That guy's like stuck in the tree, dude. So we got target lock on. So the red one is the lock on. Oh, we can use the force abilities on these things too. One more. Oh, there it goes. Now this punk's left. Dude, he's frozen for like five seconds. Oh, 
Oh, there's a forced lunge. Oh, it's dead. A new skill point. So I guess skill points will be used to buy, like, kind of items for your force powers or more combos, stuff like that. Oh, battles. Oh, clone armors. What the heck? It's a battle droid. Clone helmet. So we got some phase one clone trooper helmets right here. That's pretty dope, dude. Oh, and there's a stormtrooper right there. Shit, that's pretty sick, man. Oh, what was that? Patrol the base. Got another breach down here. Some kind of webbing. Hey, who's that? Oh, his ability is... He can also... Rewind, like, absorb their memory and... Kind of play it. Oh, shit, what the fuck? Oh, dude, we should be dead. Oh, he sliced his legs off. Dude, that was so sick. Holy shit. Hey, we get to swim. Alright, where are we at now? Still the refinery? Ooh, a mixing pot. Alrighty. Sad barrels refined... Ooh, hold on. A barrel of refined rushier sap. Its refinement process draws out impurities to distill a volatile chemical compound. This versatile compound is then used. It's probably explosions. Explosives, I guess. Just heard from the captain. They're coming. Oh, this is it. At least we have the high ground. Oh, that, uh, <laughs> that's a reference to Vader. At least we have the high ground. Well, it's an Obi-Wan reference, but he's talking to Vader. Vader lost because Anakin, or Obi-Wan had the high ground and Anakin got sliced and diced, so that's what I meant. But that was pretty cool, actually. Look at this one. First, he, he climbs up. Force pull, stab. This dude just stands there, gets saber throwed. Don't be his next target. They just stand there. Shoot him. What are you doing? So it looks like on the PlayStation, the the enemies are retarded, and they just stand and do one animation. I guess. I'm honestly just giving you my personal opinion. I saw the Lego Star Wars trailer, and I'm more hyped about the Lego game than this currently. This just doesn't look as I as I would have uh, would have thought it would, to be honest. The Jedi will be here any minute, and our reinforcements in retreat. Good. Those two are still standing there from the beginning. The fewer distractions, the better. Jedi incoming. Oh. Oh, that dude's dead. Oh, why didn't she just do that for all of them? Oh, you can do regular melee kicks. That's cool. I'll just freeze him again and hit him one more time, dude. Oh, 
so it dodges you can time perfectly. That's pretty cool. Oh, he's dead. We're almost dead. Ah, so it gives you... It's basically a 50% health boost with the stim pack. Oh, look at all the Wookiees. Save them. Save the Wookiees. Shit, dude, he looks disgusting. Is that a Wookiee? What is that? Uh-oh. Damn, that thing is strong. Oh! Damn, there's gonna be so many of those. Those robots look like the toughest enemy. Oh, ATSTs? Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I believe this is November 15th. Best on Xbox One. It's coming out November 15th. Yeah, November 15, 2019. Alpha game footage, image quality may depend on your hardware. Wow, 2080 Ti i9-9900K. 4K here. Still, still looks pretty bad. Well, this part was cool and it explodes, so those things are timed. So that's an easy thing to do. Um, let's see, those bugs are cool. But, uh, so these robots basically are going to be like the biggest thing that we fight. Or the hardest thing, I would assume. Chewbacca, I don't know what this is. Dude's already cross-eyed. His lips aren't even moving, I don't know what's going on. Ah, uh, it's... Hopefully the final game is not like this. Hopefully this is early, early, early draft that they only put for E3, but... Well, potentially, if it's gonna look like this, I don't know. I, I would have to play, like, res scale, like, super 600%, dude. Like this part is cool where you can pull environmental stuff and use it to swing across. That's pretty cool. This dude, what does this dude have? An E11? What's he using up here? That looks like a clone blaster actually. Yeah, that's a clone blaster. So they still have clone weapons? Yeah. Still got those clone weapons. He looks, he looks definitely low quality, dude. What does the Empire want with tree sap? But I thought this part was cool with the lighting. I don't know. It's it's probably mostly with the BD one droid, but same with the lightsaber, I guess. The wet materials look cool. Everything around looks cool. The lighting looks cool, but kind of when it's far away, like here, you tend to notice how like low res the thing is these leaves look pretty bad in my in my opinion i know i'm complaining a lot but i'm just giving you my honest opinion this looks like concept art i'm just giving you my honest opinion i'm not gonna bullshit you like some other channels and stuff that are saying oh wow this is amazing oh man but i'm gonna tell you straight up personally what i think like i complained that this battle was whatever it looked pretty bad the timing of this to that isn't that good um, what I'm thinking is that when you arrive closer to that an area, that's when things come alive. As of currently, as of like when you're far away from up here, before you get across this bridge and get there, they're dead pretty much. There's nothing, nothing having them do anything until you reach a certain point, which triggers the animations, which is kind of lame, to be honest with you. And the timing is all bad, like. This guy's a Jedi, dude. He saw in the future. He saw this thing turn on. It's... And look at this. They say, is it a drill? Maybe, but... These guys are fighting. What are you doing? What? What are you... What are you troopers doing? 
The squad should call it in. Yeah. Better do this by the book. The squad should call it. Your squad's dead, bro. What are you doing? His leg should have been. This that part was so sick, dude. Look at this. This part was so sick. He just gets sent flying hardcore, dude. And this part was sick too, dude. Look at this, dude. When he gets frozen, that's sick. And then the saber throw. Oh, oh, that was good. It's probably one of the good scenes. Good parts in the in the thing. And my other ripe with this game, so far with this video, is this. Who the hell runs like this, dude? My coworker runs faster than this, dude. But the droid being thrown was pretty cool. I would have picked this and threw it at him. That lunge is cool. It's just... This just seems like it's really, really easy, to be honest with you. Look at this guy. Come on, come on, boy. Oh! He got sliced hard, dude. Perch Trooper. This guy is sick. what he's trained for. That was cool. Looks like you're blocked. I'll fix it. Um, this part is pretty nice too. Where he's fighting the uh, flying things. And then uh, he just beats the shit out of all these troopers. It's just so dumb. Like this area here. These They see you. Like, they see you, call it in, and then they say, like, the Jedi will be here soon. It doesn't make sense to me. Uh, I wish they would have made a little bit of a better E3 reveal. I know you guys are going to say, oh, you complain too much, but honestly, guys, honestly, I, I'm going to tell you this straight up. I am more excited for the Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga game, nine films into one game. I am more excited about that than this hate all you want but that's my opinion i am more excited about the lego game than i am about this game because this looks kind of like quantum break uh dark souls and it's just a re this is just a really bad alpha in my opinion hopefully they'll release a uh a kind of like a better build to be honest with you Now these guys look cool. Like look how cool these dudes look like. Those those dudes look amazing. And I th I think there might be lots of them. But I think I think this part is kind of a bit into the game. Maybe a little bit later in the game. Uh I would say fourth mission or so, fifth mission. And then you got, like here, you got the reference between Obi Wan and Anakin. So he says, "At least we have the high ground." Is what Obi Wan said to Anakin on Mustafar, and pretty much, I think there's going to be some references to the films. Hopefully, uh, this one was there. I don't know. Maybe there's some more I didn't get, but. The climbing part looks cool. It's kind of new to the Star Wars universe. Star Wars games. Look alive, look alive, look alive. See, this is what I mean. They stand still. They do their animation. And then they shoot again. And then they stand still. They do the animation. There's... I don't know if this is purposely made just for the E3 gameplay trailer reveal but if the game is like this dude it's <laughs> oh god hopefully they put up a day one update for this but this is basically i believe it is supposed to be for the e3 if not the ai need to be they got to be improved a bit battlefront 2 campaign had better ai than this well we'll see but honestly that's uh that's pretty much my my whole gripe with the game like the quality it is in alpha it does look it does look really bad to be honest uh the force abilities are cool throw pull uh force grab force freeze 
uh, the Force Lunge. It looks pretty sick. But the AI is kind of trash right now. Like, they run extremely slow. They, they're like one hit, one kills. Hopefully they'll do like a, a dismemberment mod or dismemberment option where you can slice them up and stuff like that. Like Jedi Knight or Jedi Outcast. That'll be pretty good. Or Force Unleashed. But the AI so far from this video it just looks pretty bad hopefully they're a lot better um other than that i can't wait for it to be honest with you uh i will have videos on it i'm gonna try to have the highest possible setting the highest possible graphics for this game uh like i said i am more excited about the lego game than this one so that's just my opinion but Hopefully this game will be better uh, visually that they'll pour it out. But this the game itself just looks like a game that came out in 2015. So like look look what I mean here. Uh, I don't know who this is. A Wookiee. He looks disgusting, dude. It looks horrible. It looks like Jonah Hill. This looks like Jonah Hill in a costume. It just looks really bad. And then Cal, his eyes, they got like no emotion. They got nothing. The facial expressions just look pretty bad, to be honest with you. Blah. This droid just looks bad. This droid is gonna, it's gonna whoop our ass hard. Dude. It's gonna destroy us. But like I said, hopefully, hopefully they'll do another gameplay trailer and they show the game a bit better looking, visually. For now, it's just whatever. Uh, vehicle combat is going to be in the game. Uh, there's some pre-order bonuses and stuff like that. But honestly, uh, out of a 10, how excited I am for this. From what I've seen, uh, my expectations went down a bit just to just to be happier with the final product. Out of a 10, I would have to say 6.5, to be honest with you. I'm not going to bullshit you and tell you some dumbass excuses and hype the game and be like, oh, it's amazing. Like I said, I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to give you my honest opinion. I'm just not that I'm just not that hyped so far from what I've seen. It's just to me personally, it just doesn't look that impressive, but hopefully Respawn can do things a little bit more different and retexture the game and make it a bit better because the game itself looks kind of like Apex right now. The characters and stuff, they just have the same model or the same engine, I guess. But honestly, that's my opinion. 6.5 out of, out of 10 for the excitement. I just, I'll still do the game. I'll still, if there's mods for it, if there's changes or anything, I'll, I will post videos on it. I will do the playthrough of it. But for now, uh, I'm skeptical. Uh, I need to lower my expectations. But I'll still give it a shot. I'll still check out the news, I'll still check out the future development of the game. And hopefully, hopefully it will be uh, very good. Hopefully no loot boxes, hopefully none of that 4 dollars customization stuff. Hopefully they get rid of all that garbage. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for my honest opinion. Uh, the game is releasing November 15, 2019. Alpha game footage, that's why it looks pretty bad. Plus, they're playing on a PlayStation. Um, yeah, image quality may depend on your hardware. So, if you have a PS4, it's going to look shittier than a PS4 Pro. Same with the Xbox One, it's going to look shittier than the Xbox One X. And all of the consoles are going to look shittier than the Master Race PC. So, November 15, the game will release. I will have the 4K Ultra 60 FPS gameplays playthrough of the whole game so stay tuned for that but this has been my honest opinion about the gameplay trailer uh hopefully enjoy i know a lot of you will disagree or will say that i complain but it's just my opinion you have your opinion that's cool you know i respect yours you respect mine we're cool we're home slices but that's just what i personally think of the game uh, hopefully it's a big improvement on the release but we'll see until then they still have like, what, five months, six months to show us what they got. So good luck to Respawn. Hopefully EA butts out 
of this and leaves Respawn to do it themselves. They don't do loot boxes or DLCs for fifteen ninety nine new new hair color, you know. Can't wait to fight the perch troopers, the robots are sick. ATSTs hopefully they're not that insane. But for now, the game looks cool. Looks kinda fun. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say to be honest. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, leave a like. If you don't like it anyway, that's just how you roll on this channel. And I'll catch you guys and girls in the next Star Wars video. Yeah. Peace out. Subscribe.